Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be getting rid of some books and doing an updated bookshelf tour because my shelves are a mess. So I'm kind of just going to be reorganizing and then picking through which books I want to keep and then just kind of showing you guys what I currently have on my shelves because I always get comments asking what books I have on my shelves, an updated bookshelf tour, so I'm going to finally do that today. Before I get started, I'm going to show you guys what my shelves currently look like. So here is the first one. I'm not touching the bottom two because I have have movies and TV shows over there so that's not something that I'm gonna be focusing on but I'm mainly gonna be focusing on these ones as you can see my shelf is kind of a mess I have books everywhere just not even sorted so this definitely needs to be fixed up I also have this shelf here as you can see it's a mess as well everything on the bottom shelf are things that i'm already going to be giving away i just have to go through all of these to see if i want to keep them if i want to get rid of them so i think the best way for me to do this is tackle it by shelf first i'm going to focus on this shelf here and then i'm gonna do the shelf in the loft so i'm gonna remove all the books from my shelf here go through them see if i want to keep them or not and then put them back up on my shelf kind of organize it maybe in a new way i'm not sure yet Okay, so here is kind of the aftermath of it all. I'm honestly still keeping these books here just because these, like I feel like when I read these were some of the happiest times in my life. So they're always going to have a special place in my heart. So I'm keeping those there. All of my other books on the shelves were over here. I am now going to just go through these, see if I want to keep them or not. Either it was a personal favorite of mine and I need to have a physical copy with me at all times or if it's something that I am probably not going to read in the future I'm gonna go through them and put them into piles of like keep not keep Okay, so I kind of have a list of books that I just want to get rid of and then I also have a list of books that I'm on the fence about and books that I think I might want to get rid of after I read them once. I'm going to go through these, kind of put them into piles to see how I kind of want to organize it onto my shelf and go from there. Okay, change of plan. I'm not going to do by each shelf because I realize I need to see kind of like in general what I have so that way I know what to put where because I'm trying to separate it by like summer romance, sports romance, romance, rom-com, like a really good classic romance, stuff like that. So I need to go to my other shelf and just see what I have. Okay, so books have officially overtaken my room. I am going to continue organizing and sorting them. I'm thinking I kind of want to just put all the books that have like the same vibe in the same place and see the piles that I can come up with and see what I want to get rid of. So these are somewhat kind of organized. I have some YA, some small town rom-com, darker slash taboo romance, sports romance, summer romance, another summer romance, more rom-coms, things that I wouldn't normally read. Kind of a mix here, but like these are books that I'm giving away. Some Wattpad, Christina Lauren, and just other random books. So now I'm just gonna go on my shelf and see like what kind of looks good and what should go where. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I expected it to, but I'm finally done and I got rid of a lot of books these are actually all the books i'll be giving away which is insane i have so much i got a little lazy towards the end so i'm probably going to fix up my bookshelf later maybe like the top shelf in here i'm not really happy with and then some of the shelves outside i'm like eh about but i'm honestly really lazy and really tired so this will have to do for now here's a little bit of an overview of the shelf that is in my room i kind of like how this looks the only ones i have a problem with are kind of the top two i don't know how i feel about them yet so those may change but here is my updated book collection pretty much. So up here is my Maya Hughes books and then I have 
from Luke Off with Love, some Mia Sheridan book, my Lauren Asher books, my Percy Jackson series, and then this is a series by Mila Gray, and then a series by Helena Hunting. I have two Digimon Pops. This is Ty and Matt. Then this next shelf, I kind of did like small town romances and summer romances. I have some books from Devney Perry, Corin Michaels, Marin Moore, Sarah Adams, Catherine Cowles, Jen Bennett, Second Chance Summer, The Grump Who Stole Summer, After All, Good Girl Complex, Love and Gelato, that whole series, The Summer of Broken Rules, Sarah Dessen book, Tessa Bailey, Anne and the French Kiss, Kisses and Croissants, a Casey West book, and then the To All the Boys series by Jenny Han. And then I have a Ladybug and Tiki Fungo Pop and a Cat Noir and Plague Fungo Pop. Then here, kind of random, the bottom one, like I already explained, is kind of books that I just felt really happy while reading and I couldn't put them down. Up here, I have some of my only nonfiction ones, things that that I got for work. Just things to like help me grow. I have some Wattpad book and then I have the Inheritance Games, Tell Me Lies, the Twisted series, the To Love and Hate duet, Spanish Love Deception, Before We Were Strangers, some Penelope Douglas books, a Willa Nash book, Dirty Letters, Wall of Winnipeg and Me, and some Aaron Watt books. And then some books that I just feel like were a great time in my life reading were after. The Summer I Turned Pretty, off Campus Friar U, Royal Hearts Academy, Windsor Academy, and then Things I Want to Say But Never Did, and A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. And over here, I have like some co-ho and Christina Lauren, just because I feel like they're pretty popular authors and I have a lot of their books. And then I have my little manga collection that's starting. Here, all of my Colleen Hoover books. You can just pause to read the name. Then here, I have all my Christina Lauren books. And then I have Bold Love. And then I have some of my Maid Sama mangas. And then the first Fruits Basket manga, I want to complete both of these series and you'll probably see me get more manga in the future and then I have a hawk moth Funko Pop I didn't touch my books here but I do have books that are on my bed that I will show you guys too since it's a part of my collection so on my bed frame I just have all of my Krista and Becca Ritchie book this is the entire addicted slash Callaway sister series and then the bad rep duet and then I have a picture of ladybug and cat noir here I just have all my like us books and then some book sleeves and then a Gabumon Funko Pop and this is what the second shelf looks like. I'm gonna do a quick overview again. This is kind of just like my darker covers up here. Some series, Sophie Lark, and then some other books. And then here is kind of like my rom-coms and some more summer romances. I'm just gonna do a quick overview here. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to see some of these books and then here I kind of have like a mix of just like some hardbacks that I have and then some books that are just like in random genres that I wouldn't normally read again here's a quick overview if you wanted to take a screenshot or just pause to see what I have here some popular book of the month books some Taylor Jenkins read these over here are seasonal so I have a lot of Christmas ones here and then just like random little books here then again with this shelf kind of random I have some Max Monroe books a duet and then just more rom-coms and then I have the selection series and then some other rom-coms and stuff. Here's again just another overview of all the books that I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna do giveaways. I'm gonna sell them. I'm making a video of all the books I got rid of and why. It's kind of like a book unhaul video so that'll be a separate video. You guys want to see what I ended up getting rid of off of my shelf because I think I'm just not gonna pick it up. If you guys wanted to see some of the books I'm giving away go ahead and check out my Instagram. I'll have that linked in the description. Some of these books I'm going to sell but only for like a standard price that includes shipping. I don't intend to make money off of this. Just kind of want to get them out of my hands and give it to someone who is going to enjoy it. I'm probably going to have some giveaways for some popular titles. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.